Yo people, what is up? The game in the background is a Black Ops 3 map, obviously, oh, no, no, no. playing hardpoint, it was a double XP weekend. I wasn't playing very objectively, and the quality is really bad, I'm really sorry for that. Basically, I'm going to make this video because I'm staying away for work tomorrow, so I can't really hang about, record some more hardpoint, bits and bobs like that to get enough gameplay. I've done alright, I went 17-2, to two. Uh, not great, not bad. Like, you know what I mean? Kill Death Ratio yeah. is okay. Anyway, the point of this video is true stories. And what I wanted to put out there was a couple of true stories that had happened in my life, so I can see if people could benefit from that kind of things from my past, like my mistakes and things like that. And this one is how I got accused and uh, nearly arrested for sexual assault. Now, I was like 13 at the time. Uh, there's a story that comes prior to it which was a Friday, I was uh, chilling on the backfield, a couple of friends, like, it was a summer day, so, like, it's really hot, we're just all sitting there, how it is when you're in school, bags around in a circle, we're in your lunch on the field, everything's cool, and, uh, I see, I, I think my friends started here, I'm not too sure, but I see people running around slapping each other, boxes, right, so, I'm like, Pff, whatever, so, later on in the day, I'm standing, talking to my friends, I get my ass slapped a couple, time, a couple of girls, I kind of just tell them to piss off, because not really my type of thing, I was very self-conscious in school, and, uh, there's some like that, but, obviously, it just kind of went away. Now, about two weeks later, I was talking to a girl in my, one of my classes, she's like a very good friend, and I was talking to her during morning break and she was saying about this this slap ass friday or whatever the fuck they were calling it at the time we were like 13 it was some stupid name for what happened and basically she came up to me and slapped my ass to which i was like yo i'm not comfortable with that please stop a little bit later in the lunch break girl comes up does it again and again she does it three times and then one time like grabs my dick like, I'm sitting there, this is the first time a girl's touched my dick, I was like 13, and I'm just like, what the actual fuck, yo, like, what do I do, do I just stand there, do I, do I let this happen, is this rape, am I being raped right now, but, I kind of, basically, what I did to make her go away is I slapped her ass and told her, I went, look, I'm not comfortable with this, please stop. Thank you. So, that's basically the incident. Now, a couple days later from now, I get dragged out of the classroom by my head teacher, by a pastoral officer, which is somebody who deals with like naughty kids, and uh, basically like a deputy head, which would do incredibly nice women. Now, this, uh, my head teacher starts threatening me. He starts being like, not, I was about to say like yo, but dude was like 60, he's not saying yo, but it's basically like if anything like this happens again, you are getting kicked out of this school, I do not want people like you in this school, at this point, I don't know what the fuck's going on, like I did not know, so they take me away, like the pastor officer leaves, because the deputy head reassures her, like she'll be okay, head teacher leaves, she takes me to a classroom, and I'm like, what is this about? And she said, we've had a report from a parents that you have sexually assaulted someone's daughter. Now I asked her who the name was and uh, she didn't tell me. So I started guessing, which probably didn't make me look good, but I was just guessing girls names that I knew. And uh, it, it came to this girl's name. And basically she was like, yeah, it is okay. Just like try and keep it to yourself. And the incident that happened, and one, I don't know why they're trying to put people from me in the first place. Like, you can't exactly go, oh no, you've been kicked out of school because of what? Ah, oh, we're not telling you. The fuck? Stupid as hell. But uh, basically, she was like, her parents, she'd gone back to her parents and said that I'd slapped her ass. Not decided to tell her the part where she grabbed my dick, grabbed my ass, slapped my ass, damn right, like, touching me up and shit like that. Did decide to tell her that. So I told this to this teacher, she's like, okay, but her parents really do not want you in the school. Like, really do not want you. And I think for about two, three months after that, you know, I was having every girl that I knew just blank me, thinking I'm some filthy fucking pervert. 
because this shit had been spread around school. I had like teachers giving me funny looks. I was getting like fucked over by teachers as well because like when other students were getting help, they wouldn't get me help. Like they didn't like I didn't get told that that was why they were doing it, but I got the got the general thing. Eventually, I moved from that school because I was just like this is fucking stupid. Also, her parents wanted me. If I didn't leave the school to be locked away in pastoral over lunchtime, so I'm not allowed to be around other kids and shit like that. They really thought I was like some kind of monster, considering I slapped the girl's ass. Like, I slapped that ass. But she grabbed that dick, slapped that ass, and just told her parents none of that. Because obviously, they're not going to go like, but you're okay, I ain't going to go. Oh, daddy, by the way, today uh, I slapped the boy's bum. I grabbed his dick, and then he slapped my bum. Because if. Yo, if. She did say that they'd be like, the fuck are you grabbing boys dicks for? Like, yo, if I come home and my daughter's just like, yeah, 13 year old, like, yeah, I, I grabbed my first dick today. Bitch is getting RKO'd into next fucking Tuesday, man, I don't give a fuck. Like, my son come back and be like, I'm touching boys dicks, like, I'm gonna RKO him too, at the same age. Like, nothing against gays, but you don't be doing that when you're like young. So, this is my point basically, if I was a dude, which I am, not if I was, but if I went home that day and went, look, I've been sexually assaulted, a girl has touched me, inappropriately, did not like it, they'd like, my parents would be like, maybe she likes you, like, fucking man up, like, if she goes home and says this, I'm pretty sure her parents didn't go, woman up, or like, girl up, Sh shut up phone, got one off of you, sorry about that, had to go off here, but that's my point. Like, this fucked me up for a little bit because I lost friends and stuff for this, and it's a double standard. If a woman had done, like, done it, which she did, and went home and told, then shit gets dealt with. If I go home, shit don't get dealt with if I take it. And that's basically my story, and the only thing I want to get across with this video is if any of y'all you guys have ever have had a similar situation happen to you put it down below this shit's anonymous we're on youtube it's not like i'm gonna know your real name if you want to private message me do that as well we can talk about it i can try and help that's what i'm here for anyway first a true story story time i don't know what the fucking point is maybe you guys can help me but i'll see you later bye